Hi, and welcome to Healy Fit with your instructor, Jen. For more, don't forget to subscribe, click like, or select notifications. Today, I have a Pilates practice for you that is going to focus on hip mobility. All you'll need is yourself and your mat. Come on down, we'll start on your back. Fingertips to temples or hands wrapped around the back of your head. Slowly peel yourself up from the mat, eye gaze between the knees, length along the neck. As you rise up, pull your ribcage downward towards your hips. As you release down, feel each bone imprint to your mat one at a time. As you rise up at an exhale, thread the navel back towards the spine. Yeah, just a few more. Exhale, rising up, eye gaze between the knees. Release back down bone by bone. Exhale, rise up, pull the ribcage to hips. Release back down. Exhale, rise up, hold, and then slowly release back down to your mat. Awesome, we're gonna hold this next one. Take the left knee in, and then extend the leg out as far and as down as feels right for your hip. Now we're gonna play with hip mobility throughout our class today. So as you do this exercise, I want you to pull the knee in as close as feels okay for your body, and then release the foot down towards the mat as far as you can while keeping your core stability. We talk about core stability a lot in Pilates, and by that I mean engagement of rib cage to hips, navel drawn back towards spine, and that general flexion along your abdomen. You're still keeping length along the neck, head is pushed back. We're gonna sweep the leg out to the side and then sweep the leg in towards the center. Now this one again, play with hip mobility. Just go as far as feels right for your body and then sweep back in using the inner thigh. We're kind of hovering above the ground again to your depth. Keep length all the way from hips to toes. So try to unfold the back of the knee best you can and try to point the toes to the other side of the room best you can. Awesome, we're gonna add on to this. And we're gonna start to do circles, hands down by your hips, head down onto the floor, sweep the leg out to the side, up to the sky, and then slowly release back down to the mat. Good, now this is a really good chance to check in with the hip. There are two really mobile areas of your body, your shoulder, ball and socket joint, and your hip, ball and socket joint. As such, they are also very prone to injury. So as you sweep this leg around, I want you to check in with your body. Decrease range of motion if your body is feeling that need. Increase range of motion if you are feeling good and up for it. Awesome, let's change direction, lifting up, sweep the leg out to the side, down to the floor, and back up. Now you'll see as we go through these, I am actually going to decrease my range of motion. So the first couple feel okay, the second couple, not so much. If that's you, follow suit, do what is right for your body, go with the range of motion that is working for you, not against you. Still keeping as much length along the back of the knee as you can, light point into the toe. Good, and again, modifying that range of motion if your body needs it. Awesome, let's take that foot down to the floor, do the same work on the other side, but first we're gonna peel ourselves back up from the mat, eye gaze between the knee, kind of just sliding the fingertips towards the heels and then back down. Good, so here we lose the support for the neck. If you do need it, hand behind the head. Go ahead to give yourself a little bit more support if your body needs that today. Good, exhale as you rise up, keep length along the neck, eye gaze between the knees, rib cage to hips, navel to spine. Good, feel your core growing stronger with each repetition that you do.
Awesome, this one hold at the very top, hands interlace behind the head. Let's take the right leg in this time and then extend the right leg out. Go ahead down to the floor, again, just as much as your hip is okay with. Extend the leg out and then fold the knee in. Go ahead, so single leg stretch with bent knee, one foot on the floor. We're still warming up, so we're just working one side at a time unilaterally keeping our core connected as we move along the leg good that forward back motion of the hip fantastic let's start to sweep the leg out to the side readjust if needed like here, I'm a little bit close to the wall. So if you think you might be in kicking distance from the wall, go ahead, move around as you need to. Good, now each time you sweep the leg out to the side, play around with just how far you can go and just how low you can go with the leg. Go ahead, head, neck, and shoulders up from the mat if you can sustain it. If not, you can always bring your head, neck, and shoulders down to the floor. Awesome. So speaking of bringing head, neck, and shoulders down to the floor, we are there. Reach the hands towards the hips and then sweep the leg out to the side, up to the sky, and down to the floor. God, now I don't know about you, but this is one where I get a little bit more range of motion. Once we change the direction of the circles, my hip is not so happy about it. So if that's you, you just modify accordingly. Go with what you've got. Remembering that your body carries all sorts of stress from physical to mental to spiritual relationship stress, all of it kind of carries inward. So if you've had a really stressful week, be kind to your body and know that you can return to more mobility at another point in time. Good, so we've changed direction of our circles, leg up to the sky, sweeping the leg out to the side, down towards the floor, core braced. Even though our head is down on the mat, we've still got the rib cage connected towards the hips. We've got a light brace into the abdomen. Awesome, almost there. Fantastic. I'd say we are adequately warmed up. Let's tuck those knees into the chest. God, just a few deep breaths. And now we're going to add a crunch to extension. Draw your nose up towards your knees. Flex your belly down towards the mat. Extend the arms and the legs. And then fold everything back in nose towards knees like a little ball. Good. Reaching out and extending in both directions. Exhaling as you pull everything in nice and tight. Good. Reach and extend. Fold and exhale. Good. Now, imperative here, as you bring the arms and the legs out, make sure you keep your navel kind of sewn down towards the mat. Good. So again, keeping core connection even with that length of the arms and the legs. Fantastic. Hold it here for a moment. Let the head, neck, and shoulders come down to the floor. Then reach the arms, extend the legs about mat distance or a little bit wider apart. We're going to exhale, peel yourself up, look, reach, extend. Good. So we're just bringing it up to the sticking point, that point where your feet are like, oh, I would like to come up off the ground and help you up here. We're going to reach the hands up. Now, when you bring the hands over the head, I want you to keep rib cage drawn to hips. I want you to try to fold the navel down towards the spine. And I want you to push the lower back towards the floor. So we've still got our core brace as we lift and reach upward with our hands, bringing them right about the thigh line. Awesome, I think it's almost time we add some pulses. So as you come up, reach, pulse, six, five, four, three, two, 
one and reach back up overhead imprint the spine hands overhead exhale lift up and pulse eight seven six five four and three two and one and reach extend core braced peel yourself back up six five four three two one and back down awesome last set of eight lift up and reach eight seven six five four three two one and extend awesome now let's try to peel ourselves all the way up from the floor lift reach and extend and then imprint back down bone by bone arms overhead exhale peel yourself up now best you can you're trying to keep the heels pressed down towards the floor a little bit of magic trickery going on here you've got the backs of the upper inner thighs kind of pulled in and down you've got the pelvic floor pulled in and up you've got the rib cage drawn towards the hips so even with the arms overhead you've got your core brace once you've got all those in and the heels pressed down to the floor it just takes a little bit of practice before we can peel ourselves up and keep the legs weighted down to the mat Awesome. Now get as much of a spinal stretch as you can. When you bring yourself up, reach out towards the toes, maybe between the toes, and extend all the way from your tailbone up to the crown of the head. So really get length along the vertebra. Awesome. Let's hold this one right here. Nice stretch all the way between both heels if you can. As you bring it up, we're going to fold the left leg in towards you and we're going to reach over towards the right side with the left arm. Awesome. Then the left hand is going to come down to the floor. We're going to push into that hand, lift up into your mermaid stretch. Awesome. So hamstring stretch all the way along the outer edge of the obliques. Inhale, lift up, drive the hips forward a little bit using the strength of the glutes as you bring yourself into that side plank. Awesome. This one feels so good along the obliques and the outer edges of the hips. This is a great stretch as well for hip flexors. You might feel that as you bring yourself up into that side plank with a little bit of a push towards the front of the room. Awesome, just a few more remaining on this side. Great. Now let's hold it here. Switching sides, reach up and over, and then come into your side plank with light hip press towards the front of the room. Good, awesome, reach and extend lift awesome Just a few more on this side. Good. Remember to spread those fingertips out as you bring your hand to the floor to brace. Awesome. So push into the knuckles, reach and extend. Releasing back down. Let's tuck the back knee in. Come down to your forearm and we're going to lift that outer leg up. Good. So slowly just lift up and down good now this is one where i'm teaching in class and a lot of people give me a look like my mind's not moving mine's not moving right so if that's you all i want you to do is feel the outer edge of the hip and glute contracting so maybe your leg doesn't rise up from the floor but you know something's going on that's all we need Awesome. Let's add some leg circles here. So we're going to, again, work through full mobility. Knee tucks in, leg extends back. Lift, draw down, push back. Good, and just go with what range of motion feels good for your hips today. Fantastic.
fantastic. As you bring the knee down, you want it behind the heel. We're gonna brace down onto our fingertips facing the back of the room and just do a hip roll side to side. Good, now try to press the knee down towards the heel. Again, just going with what feels right for you so you might not get the same range of motion and that's okay. And then you can readjust as necessary, maybe walking the hands back a little bit, maybe scooting the hips forward a little bit, maybe moving the position of the feet. Good, so the move feels accessible to you and allows you to move with freedom and with the range of motion that feels right for you. Awesome, let's hold to the side. Again, coming down to the forearm, we're gonna lift the opposite leg up this time. So different leg up and down. Go ahead, hand to the floor, hand to the thigh, hand to the hip. Good, so the top hand is just there to assist, reminding you to brace your abs, reminding you to stay lifted off that bottom forearm so you've got length along the shoulder and along the outer edge of the neck. Good, we're still bracing into the core. You might feel this one speaking of core around that love muffin area. We're gonna add our circles next. Lifting up, dropping down, pushing back. Good, up, down, and back. Just a few more. Awesome. As you bring the foot down, bottoms of the feet in together because we made it and we want to stretch out those inner thighs. Ah, oh, such an amazing workout with you all today. I do appreciate you coming. Let's do just a few more stretches to take us on our way, coming into whatever seated position works for you. Arms come up to the sky. Awesome, lengthen out through the abs and then stretch across the shoulders into the back and then across the chest. Open the hands out wide and pull it in for that big, well-deserved hug. Thank you again. Have an amazing rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos just like this one. And if you have a moment, go ahead and follow me on social at HealyFit. Until next time, y'all, be well.